Hey guys, I don't know if you've heard, but the Australian Tax Office or the ATO raided the Colts headquarters this week here in Sydney and some other brethren or cult businesses. Um, stay tuned as we unpack this article that is in today's paper, um, Saturday morning on front page Sydney Morning Herald and a double page spread on page 14, 15. But it's also online as well. But let's, let's break it down and talk about it because I've had so many of you DM me, asking me questions. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll run through with what I believe is happening. And here we have Sydney Morning Herald front page. Behaviors of concern tax units target brethren. Open to page 1415. Here we go. So it's tax office behaviors of concern unit raids Plymouth Brethren headquarters. And here we have the ATO inside. Um, I can't believe they've got a photo of the, the cult leader. Like we haven't seen him publicly for years, a photo anyway. Um, there's his two arse wipes of a son, absolute tools, to say the least. And that's the precinct um, head headquarters. The only reason I say that about these arse wipes is because they were absolute bullies and still are. Um, yeah, so let's unpack this because there's so much to talk about um, that I haven't been able to talk about. Because, well, you sort of need a paper to do the, do, do the work for you first. So Tuesday, the ATO raided um, headquarters of the Brethren UBT, it's called, as you can see down the bottom here. Um, and I've talked about them before. UBT are the brains, the top of the octopus of the Brethren and all the tentacles that travel through all, all sort of feed up into this big organisation. Now, UBT man like manage the phones and the, the laptops, any sort of communications or, or technology. Um, that has access to the outside world has to come from this company. And you have to, they have so much more, they, they business coach, they, so they basically control everything. And they also control the schools, like One School Global um, and their fake charity rapid relief team. So all, all the money handling happens with this business, um, even though they would like to admit otherwise. But yeah, let's, let's just unpack what happened on Tuesday though. So the office was raided and they were like, sent around this email to all staff saying, um, we're currently working with the ATO, like just for your awareness, we're currently working with the ATO for a regular audit. Let's just remember that part, a regular audit. Regular audits are not raids. Regular audits are regular audits. But let, let's, we'll unpack more. Um, today will be a number of officers on site the precinct. Periodically over the next few days, don't be alarmed. We would just like to make you aware of what's happening if you're approached, blah, blah, blah. So that was Tuesday. And then everyone was sent home over the next couple of days and asked to work from home. You'll see here why I said it's no regular routine audit. This is the front cover of the ATO's authorization to search. And you'll see here, it says office minute, access without prior notice. You don't, that, that, that is a raid. You don't, ha you don't spring a mandatory or regular audit on somebody without telling them according to the ATO's website, uh, unless it's a raid. And I've also had it on good confirmation that you don't have 30 plus ATO marshals or officers within a building searching um, for documents. I've had people tell me they're searching for documents, they're rummaging around looking for things. There's a security guard at reception. Nothing about that sounds like a regular audit. And Allegedly, they don't wear these ATO vests, like the the, the big lettering vests, um, when they're doing a regular audit. And lastly, I'd like to talk about the photo that we've got of the leader. It's incredible that we've had this photo released. Um, this is obviously, I think, taken in the last month of the leader. I'm just going to zoom up a bit more on the, on this so we can see a clearer photo and we can chat about that. And here we are closer up with a current photo of what the cult leader looks like. Kind of the same, let's use the same peachy colored tan that um, Donald Trump uses. Anyway, you'll see here, they always have like a little glass of something beside him um, to help him, you know, deliver the word of God. Um, but I, I think it's just, the, the reason I'm putting this, this photo out and make, highlighting this is because they and we, gr growing up in that church, you know, you did everything to protect the identity of our brother. And it was, you know, 
paramount that no one ever got a photograph of him for the media. Um, and I think it's just incredible that, you know, how the, the times have changed and how the tables are turning where insiders are really seeing um, how much of a cult this is and helping us to expose it. And there we have a close up, the, the cult leader, Bruce Hales. Um, yeah, the current cult leader of the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church, delivering his message to his followers or flock. So stay tuned as we, obviously this is an ongoing um, search. So um, yeah, we, we stay tuned as more, more details I'm sure to follow from this ATO surprise audit, um, regular audit if you ask the brethren. But you know this, I wanna put this out to like that email just shows what the, the insiders, like my parents will be told that it was just a regular audit and the outs, as in ex-members like myself, or the media are just, you know, the devil trying to highlight um, or, or, or just doing the devil's work. You know, there's nothing wrong. It's just a regular audit. But the unfortunate thing is you've got to sit down and look at the facts. It, we've got proof that it's not a regular audit. So start listening to other voices other than what you've been told. And I was having this chat with my cousins about this and we're like, our family are like, you know, they're not high up there. They were not privy to this. They don't have access to the outside world. They will just be told whatever they're told, whatever lie that this is a regular audit, a routine audit. Um, and they will just go, okay. And if, if everything falls apart, like the rapid relief team charity or the schooling or, the, or wherever they, they donate their money to, um, whatever charity that is within the brethren, if that all comes and falls apart, my parents and family will still just go, okay, well, where do we donate to now? This is what I mean by how people are like, oh, this, this might be a great start to get your family back. My family are gone. My family are done. They, they are so brainwashed. If they can't see past obvious glaring facts like this, then they deserve that life, quite frankly. And I, I, this, I guess us speaking up is about the next generation, is about the people, that, the children within there that don't have access or don't have any... Um, you know, aren't bra that brainwashed yet, that, that aren't, you know, have a chance to be, um, see a glimpse of the outside world. So, yeah, so, and unfortunately, we we're saying that this won't change much. Um, and uh, you can watch many a Netflix documentary on cults and, you know, they take the leader away, the church just regroups somewhere else, or the cult just regroups somewhere else with someone just as bad. So, you know, our work here is not done, but stay tuned as we keep you updated.